Ricky Starr, Mr. Lapin, the former Mrs. Lapin, the Swimsuit Squad, and me, your cool ass pal, Johnny Blue Jeans. Tonight, actor, director, Ben Stiller, the rock and roll of the Mighty Giants, and knife thrower, Larry Zizetsky. And now, a Jedi Master told them, may the Force be with you, Mr. and the former Mrs. LaPay! Wonderful to see you, Agatha. Thank you. Oh, please excuse my ex-husband's appearance. What are you talking about? I look fine. No, I mean, please excuse that my ex-husband is appearing tonight on the show. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see. I guess you just woke up on the wrong side of somebody's bed this morning. <laughs> but anyway, we've got one hell of a show for you tonight. We've got the amazingly skilled knife thrower, Larry Sisesky, and the rock and roll band, they might be joined. Don't you forget our rocking tribute to our favorite American TV show, Happy Days! Uh, for the town, there has been a, a slight little change in the Happy Days tribute, as Henry Winkler has canceled at the very last moment. Uh, and so did uh, Tom Bosley and uh, the Potsy guy and uh, Ralph the Mouth. And uh, I even tried to get Richie's older brother, who was a character cut after the pilot, so... Boy, you sure do pull a lot of weight in this business, even if it is just in your ass. <laughs> this stinks, man. But we got Ben Stiller instead. That's just great. That's great. Now it's gonna be like crappy days. Hey, put a cork in it. The show is a must to go on. So, Johnny Blue Jeans, I understand you made some new friends this weekend. Yeah, man. I spent some time with the people who really love me. Oh, really? The National Dork Council? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I, I went through the shopping mall to meet some of my fans, and let me tell you something. It really rocked. Good morning. Um, uh, I have just a couple announcements. Uh, it is, uh, Sand Dollar Days at the Pinch a Penny. And then, uh, this is the winner of, uh, Drinking Fountain Safety poster, uh, week. Um, and it says, if you push someone's head into the metal part of a fountain, you are a real drip. Who's the Karate Kid? I'm the Karate Kid. Ladies and gentlemen, or people uh, from Viva Variety, Johnny Blue Jeans. <laughs> now I said, tell me more. Are you ready to rock? <laughs> I said, now I said, tell more. Are you ready to rock? Now that's more like it. My name is John the Blue Jeans, and I want to party with you. Hit it. Press the play button. I want to party with you. I want to get up and move. I like to step to the beat. I love to dance with my feet. I want to party with you. <laughs> they say senior citizens don't know how to rock. I say they're wrong. Hello. Where are you from? We're from Canarsie. I don't know where that is. Would you sign it to Lisa? Lisa, yeah. Could you sign it from Andrew Shue? Yeah, okay. Sure, there you go. And winners don't use drugs. Yeah, yeah okay. okay. What time does the food court close? The food court? Oh, uh, excuse me? Hello, what time does the food court close, please? I want to break dance with you. I like my moonwalking shoes. 
I never had such a ball It's break dancing in a mall I want to break dance with You So what do you do for a living? Uh I do this Okay I got a few more songs But first they asked me to tell you an announcement uh, For the next half hour All giant cookies are half price at the super cookie. <laughs> I want to thank everybody for coming. My name is Jonah Blue Jeans. Good night. Thank you, Johnny. You get a uh, C plus for effort. Ladies and gentlemen, our first guest tonight is not Henry Winkler as originally planned, but even better, actor, director, Ben Stiller. Thank you so much for coming. It's wonderful to have you, Ben. Mm. Thank you so much for being here, Ben. My pleasure. Ah, now, my questions were originally for Henry Winkler, uh, but they're pretty much universal, so I'm just going to go with them. <clears throat> ben, what was it like being the Fonz Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay, ah, maybe that one is not such a good one. So, uh, here, let me just, let me just, something more pointed at you, Ben. Ben, what do you think it was like to be the phones? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess it was really great. Pretty it great, huh? Really cool. <laughs> I yeah. would think. I mean, I mean, he's cool. He's got, got the dings. Women and, you know, he's got great. the hair and the back. Yeah, it's yeah. very, yeah, it would have been great. great. Absolutely, a great yeah. time. Ben. You're in movies, you direct and act in movies. Mm -hmm. um, you'll know this one. In the movie Night Shift, when Fonzie meets Mr. Mom, do you think that Mr. Mom asked him to go, hey? Hey, you know? Yeah, I th I'm sorry. I, th I thought you were going to, like, you know, maybe ask me some questions about myself, you know, like what I'm doing. But, you know, that's, that's what my. Oh, uh. That's what uh, uh, uh your publicist. Here. Yeah, sure. Yeah, um, just, yeah. Right. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, Ben, uh, how do you uh, prepare for a role Ooh, well, in the movies? That's, that's a good question. I mean, that's, you know, every movie is really different. I guess I, guess I kind of go from the inside out, really. I mean, I really like to just kind of, like... <laughs> Excuse me. Hello? Hi! What the hell? Ben, what? hi. What? How are you doing? What's uh, going on here, man? No, I was, no. Hey, I listened to every word you said. You did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You talked about how it's great to be in movies. Have you ever, like, do you even, do you, like, have you ever seen anything I've been Absolutely. in? Or? I saw everything. Really? I, mean, I saw everything. I saw the one where you play, like, the, uh, the crazy cop. Crazy. And you're, like, uh, uh -huh. you know, yeah. crazy all the time. Yeah, no, I, I never played a crazy cop, ever. You know, I'd uh, love to play a crazy cop. I'd love to, you know, I'd love to get into doing roles like that. But, you know, nobody sees me that way. I mean, that's really, you know, what the <clears> type <throat> of thing I'd like to get into doing. Yeah, yeah, what? Okay. Ah, great. Well, Ben, <laughs> it's great having you here. You're a terrific guest. Uh, will you hang out? We've got a great big musical number in the second act. Uh -huh. Will you stay for it? Uh, do I, I don't have to like do anything? No, 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 no. And, you know, and it's all okay. Ben Stiller from now on. No more of this, this Henry Winkler. No more funziness. Okay. Isn't that right, uh, my darling? You never cease to amaze me. Stay tuned, TV friends, for the music of They Might Be Giants, the death-defying Larry Sisiski, and the wonderment of me. <laughs> variety you know it gets so crazy here in showbiz with the hassle and the bustle that sometimes it's hard to even know what day it is honey do you know what day it is well don't call me honey but according to my calendar it <laughs> So no one blue. There's fries at Arnold's and milkshakes too. Drag racing around till I get my fill. Then we all get laid on Blueberry Hill. Still have 
every day. Oh no! The jukebox is broken! I wonder who we could possibly find to fix it at this hour! I wonder who we could possibly find to fix it at this hour! Okay, so, uh, hey, Al, Ralph, Shortcakes, Ralph, Mrs. C, I was just uh, in my office, which is, as you know, the men's room. Zach DeMundo. Don't touch the hair. Whoa. Yeah. The jukebox. Oh, my God. The jukebox. The jukebox. Hey! Oh. oh. Cool, so I'll be up on Inspiration Point making out. Because everybody likes to make out, right? Yeah, making out is cool. <laughs> oh, uh. Whoa. Uh, Fonzie, uh, aren't you going to say A? No. <laughs> Can I say A? No! Okay. You're not paid to say A. What are you paid to do? couple things. One, uh, water and wa feed the gerbils. Feed the gerbils. <laughs> do, me, do the commercials do the for com you. That's right. Come on, skedaddle. All right. Sit on it, Paco. I, I heard that. I heard that. You have a microphone on. <laughs> hey there. John the Blue Jeans here with the former Mrs. Le Pen to talk about the new doll every kid wants. Baby needs a shave. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. That baby don't need no shave. But wait one cotton pick in second, okay? Because you give this baby a good old-fashioned shaking and... and voila! <laughs> baby needs a shave! <laughs> now, the first thing you do, okay? You take your official baby needs a shave straight razor <laughs> and you get that baby's face as smooth as his ass. <laughs> Hey, let's face it, there's nothing more fun than shaving, you know? And there's nothing more ironic than shaving a baby. <laughs> and let's face it, kids, kids love, love irony. Every day in every way. <laughs> baby needs a shave. From the people that brought you baby tastes like soup. The baby that tastes just like you soup. You put some crackers on that baby, that's like soupy baby. It's great. <laughs> Back to you, toad face. Ladies and gentlemen, from the town so nice, they named it San Diego, the world's premier impalement artist, Larry Sisesky. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, now, Larry, this is not um, magic tricks or no. magic. You no. really throw knives at people. This is real dangerous, real steel. I'm Good. I understand you need a volunteer. Yes. Well, yes, you can't yes. have Agatha because I'm still making the payments. So, uh, Johnny Blue Jeans. What? <laughs> Sura. Oh, uh, I already did it. <laughs> <clears throat> Look, Johnny, Johnny, if you don't want to do it, just, just say so. I'll get somebody else. Okay, I don't want to do it. <laughs> no, I meant I'll get somebody else for your job. <laughs> okay, I'll do it, but just because I'm otherwise unemployable. Right. Larry, would you like something to drink to calm your nerves? No, like a thank kamikaze you. No, or thank purple you. I'm ready. Okay, are, they, uh, are the girls going to be a distraction? Is this... Uh, Let me take a look. Is this... Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's too much. Too much. Okay. okay. Out, get out. Well, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the fabulous Larry Sisesky. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Yes. Oh. Yeah. Mesdames and Messieurs, Larry Sisesky will do a trick that is 10,000 times more difficult. He will throw the knives at Johnny, while Johnny Blue Jeans is totally obscured by a huge piece 
have to pick up. So now, without the use of sight, throwing the knives at Johnny Blue Jeans. I'm ready, man! Well, uh, Ben Stiller seems to be having a better time at least. Yes, you know, it's amazing what a few kind words from four dancers can do. Up until now, the show has pretty much made the Hindenburg look like a honeymoon. Oh, look who's talking. At least the Hindenburg stayed up all the way across the Atlantic. <laughs> Agatha, why, why must you always kick a man when he's down? Well, when a man is always down, when in the hell are you supposed to kick him? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, they might be giants.